Hi, uh, today we will be unboxing Artichel's flat brushes. So these brushes are very versatile. You can use them to paint um, watercolors, acrylics, oil painting, uh, anything. So if you've seen my earlier unboxing of the Artichel's round brushes, you'll know that these come in a very nice packaging. They also come with a personalized note. Now here, um, let me try these out. You have brushes ranging from the size of 12 up to 0, which goes in um, an incremental fashion. So let's try these. So these don't come with the lids, which come in our round brushes. And uh, these are uh, going to be pretty nice for doing any watercolor painting. I'm going to try these out and they're also going to be pretty good in terms of acrylics, but I might not use them for that. Uh, because sometimes uh, you have to be really careful when you use your acrylic brushes. It makes sense to not mix them up too much, your acrylics and your watercolors. So let's try out something, um, something very simple. So I'm going to be trying out now with size 8. You can see how stiff it is. But once I dip it in water, it will not be as stiff as this anymore. You can see how it's become really smooth and very nice. So we'll try and create probably... Um, very basic sky, skyline maybe, and some water. So I'm going to take some blue and try this out. They look, they are, they seem they are very smooth. I really like it because it's also very easy to blend these. You can see the coverage is quite good. I'm probably just going to do the night sky and. Uh, do like a very basic landscape. So all I'm using right now is one brush and um, I'm assuming all of them are going to be this good. This is nice. This is uh, size number 8 that I have used and from my earlier um, ones especially the round ones i did notice that the good colors don't leave out um, they don't stain these brushes but some of the colors if the pigment is very strong it will stain your brushes so right now the size that i'm using is like an a6 that i'm doing this painting on and uh, so you can it, it'll help you to understand what size works for you but since this comes as a set i think it's below INR 1000 so this must be like maximum 800 or 900 INR and for that uh, to get about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 brushes it's a very good deal and these are made in India so it's I think an even better one that way. So I'm now going to use the size 1. Oh so it's not size 0 it is size 1. Alright so this is pretty interesting. Um, you can see this is also pretty stiff because of the adhesive it helps to keep it together. Once I dip it however in water you'll see it's very smooth. So I'm going to take some black now and we'll try and create some landscape. Hopefully it has dried enough and there's no issue. So I like flat brushes. I remember that for most part of my life I used to use only flat brushes because I would do a lot of blending. So I'm pretty used to doing um, like even doing the corners and pretty nooks and edges in a lot of paintings using flat brushes so I'm quite comfortable but uh, ideally you can do this in your round brush if this is not preferable let's just create some random ones okay so this is quite nice so we have a very basic beautiful painting done I am going to remove the masking tape very slowly, which is always the best part of the painting. Let's start with the top one. Remove it always from a corner, from an angle. The paints that I have used today are uh, the Artist Range uh, Camel watercolors. You can choose any, any paints that you want. Oops, a little bit of a tear over here, but that's okay. I think tiny, tiny things would tend to happen anyway. Here. I absolutely love the effect of the brush. I can see how 
um, quick my sky turns out to be now with the uh, painting style like this so I'm really happy with these brushes um, if you're looking to get something economical also something which is student range at the same time professionals can also use Arishil's is a great option to do that thanks for watching this video if you have any questions if you have any um, things that you want to know from me you can leave a comment and I will get back to you thanks